So this plate here states that Denmark's first railway line ran between Copenhagen and Roskilde on the 27th of June 1847 and this plate is from the old station building. Most of the station building is now renovated though it still has a very old rugged look. Inside the station you have a small 7-Eleven cafe, some books to read, ticket vending machines and a toilet at end of the first platform on the track. This is Roskilde station. It is one of the oldest railway stations in Denmark. Not not one of the, it's the oldest railway station in Denmark. It was built in 1847 and the 27th yard, June. Yeah, 27th June. So there's a there's a beautiful inscription on uh, in the front of the station and the yard partially the yard of this station belonged to Germany during the earlier times. It's a one it's a wonderful historic station and the area around is also very historic. So the local IC and the regional trains serve this station, so you can always get connections to Copenhagen and other places in Zealand from here. So just opposite to the railway station, we can see this Roskilde jars, they are also called Kun e Roskilde. So they are 5 meters in height and together they weigh 24 tons and uh, you can see two jars are in blue color and one is in brown color and they have got uh, many Guinness records, world records, world records pottery, yeah. and this was built by a person called Peter Brandes. Yep. Yes. This is the Krabod Kierkegaard. Kierkegaard is a cemetery. A wide section of Roskilde's population is buried at this cemetery. The tombstones are worth a closer look, from flash structures to modest field stones. Here are classically inspired stele, obelisks and columns, grotes, cast iron crosses and large lying stones. Some burial sites are also fenced with iron bars. Chapel was built in 1855 with Henning Wolf and Ferd. Meldal as architects and is considered one of the landmark buildings of the 19th century in Denmark. This one here is the shopping street of Roskilde, very much like the Stroge in Copenhagen. It has a lot of eateries, restaurants, shops and all kinds of activities that you can look for in a shopping street. A very good street to walk by with your loved ones in a good weather. This is the Roskilde Cathedral or it's called the Roskilde Dom Kirke because of its dome that it has. Um, so this is a very historic church um, and it has got burial places of lots of kings and queens of Denmark and it's even said that the finished funeral monument for the ex-queen who is still living, uh, Queen Margaret II is also in this church. So this has a very strategic and historic importance. It's one of the oldest churches in Denmark and yeah, let's go in and see what's up there. Built in the 12th and 13th centuries, this was Scandinavia's first Gothic cathedral to be built of brick and it increased the spread of this style throughout Northern Europe. It has been the mausoleum of the Danish royal family since the 15th century. Porches inside chapels were added to the end of the 19th century, thus it provides a clear overview of the development of European religious architecture. This royal mansion was built in 1733-36 to 36 on the site where the medieval Bisporic had been located immediately east of the cathedral.
so where we are standing now archaeologists found the remains of the longest viking ship in history it was called roskill the 6 it was built around in the fjord oslo fjord area in 1025 it was 37 meters long which is still 7 meters longer than the long skull delev skull delev 2 um yeah that's about this and uh, the remains of the other ship is in the viking ship hall so we'll go there and we we'll see that I hope you guys liked our short video about Roskilde and if you like our video please do like share and subscribe and you can add your valuable comments in the comment section below so until the next video it's bye from us